Retro Rocks Gaming Videos. Hey Rob here, I'm on the NVIDIA Shield and I'm going to show you how to use Rycast, which is a Dreamcast emulator. I'm also going to show you a little demo of a game running. First thing we're going to do here is we're going to make a memory card ready so we can save games. So you go to the boot BIOS and that will bring you to the Dreamcast main menu, well the built in menu. Uh, we're going to select file, um, file, file, yeah that one, thanks. Okay, those little red axes are bad, so we're going to select that memory card, and we're going to select delete all, which is the second option, the one that says memory reset. Hit yes. And then you can select a little icon. You don't have to. I could just hit select here, but in this case, I put a little smiley face in, so I can stall for some more time if I needed it, which I don't, so this is kind of a bummer now. Mm-hmm. Hit select. Hit select. There we go. Select. And then you can choose a color, it'll change the color of the VMU. Just the representation, obviously, of the VMU. Completely useless. Hit yes. And there we go, it's formatting it. And now it's ready for use. So I can go back and I'm going to do the second card right away. And delete all. And yes, and this time I do it a little bit smarter, just hit select. Yep, there we go, yep and they're ready so now I can play some Soul Calibur. Hold on a second I'm gonna go back to the main menu <laughs> yeah menu there we go menu there we go getting back in there okay this time I'm gonna select those two little dots so I can go up a couple directories come on double dots Double dots, it's right there. Yeah, there you go. And then do it again. Okay, SD card one is the one I selected. That's the external. And then I went into my Dreamcast folder that I made. And here we go. Dreamcast emulation. Uh, Soul Calibur works really, really well on this. The only problem I've seen is that there's a little bit of a flickering in the background. But otherwise, it plays really, really well. I mean, just plays full speed. It's great. I've handed it to uh, other people to check out. They really like it. I actually play a Dreamcast still on a regular basis and do videos with it every once in a while. So I know it's it's running pretty well right. Uh, like I said, other than this little flickering in the display. And sometimes it'll go a long time without doing it. Which uh, makes me think that it should be pretty easy to correct this issue if they really want to work at it. Here we go. Oh, my soul still burns. That's pretty cool. Okay, arcane mode. And I'm just going to play one round real quick just to show you how smooth it works. But it seems to work with all the characters. Or at least all the ones I've tried. I've tried a few of them. It's a Rugi. Ooh. Yeah, you can just see that flicker right there. If you look in the background. It looks really clear on the screen. This looks a little bit... A little bit chunky in the recording, but actually, uh, it looks really great on the NVIDIA Shield screen. And I don't play very well. I'm a big old button masher, so... I can finish the game just by pressing, like, two buttons throughout the game. Yeah. I suck. Da da da, butt whooping, butt whooping, butt whooping. So you can see the flicker doesn't happen that often, but... Yeah, every once in a while, I think it's going to show up one more time in here. Or maybe not. Nope. Well, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope that this helped you with uh, your memory card issue if you're having one. And I hope it gave you a good demo of how well this works. Please comment and subscribe.